Yo, 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 what's up, chat? Hopefully the real one showed up today. We got match number two in the books. Uh, playing, playing Mr. Hunt Mokumian. We have actually faced each other over the board. I, uh, I got the best of them there. What's up, Vasili? What's up, Johnny Depp? Kaiser, you know, we, we, we got through Zhang which is huge, but we, you know, uh, the, it, it's not over. We've got two extremely strong players to get through, but, you know, it, we'll, we'll make it happen. You know, we'll, we'll make it happen. There's no worries. You guys know what's going to happen. So, you know, uh, hopefully I can get a decent start. Um, uh, anyways. I'm waiting for him to start the game. We're gonna get a good start. Um, if I if I do win this match, I I will try to detain it. But the uh, no one at Chess Twenty Four told me that my swearing was out of hand. So I don't. Obviously, that might have been a bit over the top. But uh, I can't make any promises about uh, keeping it hundred percent family friendly. Um, but uh, <laughs> I know that uh, some people thought my reaction after yesterday's win was a bit over the top, but it's, it's hard to contain those emotions after, you know, beating someone so strong, um, especially from being, you know, in my perspective. Um, as, you know, as little I am, you know, it's quite the big, you know, is my mic even worse than yesterday? I don't know. I can, I'm going to put the mic closer up. I'm not sure. Sometimes it's, it's bad through, through Zoom. Um, but, uh, you know, waiting for him to start. Obviously, Mokriman's a really good opponent. I have some experience playing him. Not going to be easy, but uh, the thing is, is that, um, you know, always possible. I have more experience in the play zone now. Like, the first game I lost purely because of a mouse slip. So, that kind of, you know, like things, but... Um, now I know to be much more careful with my with my mouse movements. Um, anyways, I see that the 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 people are are showing up in chat. Okay, I'm ready to start. Um, um, no, no worries, no worries. Um, what's up, Travis? What's up? Uh, Yeah, no, I have a very good microphone. I don't, I think it's maybe something on Zoom. Um, but uh, I have my microphone set up. I don't know why it's an issue. I could go into the audio settings possibly, but um, um, no, 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 I have the proper device. Um, but if you can, you can see my screen. I, um, I don't know why that's weird, but, um, yeah, no, I think it should be okay, um, as long, okay, um, time is running okay, let's, let's, let's close chat now, let's, let's get started, um, I've always, if not, I feel like I need to be marked, okay. Let me go with this. I'm not sure. Like he's obviously done some preparation, but uh, I kind of want to feel out the, the game first match. Is this? I'm actually going to play C6 here. Um, I think I'm going to first challenge him with the um, this. Okay. I'm going to go with this and see how he responds. I don't think he has preparation here. Okay, he goes for this very... Okay, he goes for this, which definitely not complaining about. Um, so he does that for... Okay, maybe five. 
pretty sure I go like A4 here. Um, and then and then G6, I think, is the move. Yeah, and I could be misremembering. I think it's the Queen D1, G6 is the theory here. Uh, I'm, I'm completely fine with this position. I'm actually... This is what I want. I think G4 is the correct move. Yeah, it is. And then Bishop G7, Bishop G6, I think. Or do I go back to C8? I go to E6. I think he goes F4 now. Again, uh, I, I like that he's thinking here because I think we both don't know exactly what we're doing here. Well, I think we know what we're doing, but obviously, um, I am happy that he is not blitzing out the moves. Okay. So, this is somewhere of a mistake. Let's go H5, obviously. Normally, go 97. Let's see what he plays here. I think he made a mistake. Um, I don't exactly remember what is fully correct there. So maybe he didn't make a mistake. Yeah, Bishop F5 makes a lot of sense. E5 is kind of right here, but plays on four. It's somewhat expected. Oh, I kind of want to go H4. So prepare F6. So the goal of this position will be to break through to move F6. Um, but obviously, position remains quite double-edged. After F6 now, I think you just wasted a very key. Bishop D2, I feel like, was a very crucial waste of time in terms of tempo because now I'm going straight um, to breaking things open. Okay, I'm definitely taking this. And then E5 looks good there, I guess. Six. Can I go E5 immediately is another question. So E5 takes, push there, takes. Seems completely fine. Even takes, takes, takes. That also looks fine. Let's see. Pretty crucial moment. Um, interesting. I just feel like starting with Bishop G7 is correct. It's like just building it up with one move. Okay, now... Okay. Seven, but... Taking too much time here. Honestly, why don't I, why don't, why don't I just pass it? Yeah, takes in E5 is the, the big threat. Okay, E5 immediately here should just be very good. Okay. Yeah. Because takes, I have E4. And then, yeah, that should be good. Okay, Knight B4. It makes zero sense. Okay, obviously takes. Okay, I can take this pawn, but uh, seems like it's a little bit of a bait, but I feel like I just want to take the bait. Okay, let's screw it. Screw it. Um, this is very ambitious of me, considering bishop d3 is a possibility, many other quite dangerous moves, but 
fix 95. Honestly, I am. I, I, I honestly am just going to call his bluff. I think it's. I, I'm just going to call his bluff and see what happens. Could lose in a few moves or could have a pretty good position. But I think that okay, this is um yeah. And I'm putting a lot of faith into my intuition here. I'm putting quite a lot of faith into my intuition, but that is what I believe most in. I, I believe in my intuition quite a lot. So I'll let my intuition guide me here. One has my intuition let me down. Okay. Maybe this is the time it's let me down, but this is uh, getting right here. Come on, Hans, this is your position. Shoot, yeah, I played that. Oh, oh my God, it queen takes G6. Oh my god, very bad, very bad. I should never happen, Hans. Should never happen. It's okay. You're allowed one choke. Can't do that again. It's my music. Okay.
Sorry? No, I'll talk. When I've won my game, I'll speak. Fucking go. I'll play now. Win this cleanly. Cleanly. Yeah, just keep it so. Right. 
I don't like what I'm doing. This is fun. Shit, can I choke this? Oh my God, how did I do that? I'm so bad. Actually, so bad, I just choking everything on, come on. Not like that, dude, come on. It's not you. It's two games of chokes, two wins. Come on. Don't celebrate too early. Okay. Let's go over the same opening. This is very... Here's the thing with Ron's. He willingly repeats openings. Even when he gets bad positions, he's a man of habits. So I don't mind repeating the exact, yeah, he plays the correct move now. Um, it's unfortunate. Very bad. Very bad. Okay. Whatever, just forget about it. Just forget about it. Move on. You're playing better chess. Playing better chess, that's all I need to do. Just play better chess. Okay. You're the better player. You're playing better moves. You just got to close them out. No reason for those games not to be won. What is this move again? We're transposing. But, um, well, we're not even transposing. It's, We're getting somewhat of a similar version, but I was definitely happy with the position I got before, despite the result of the game. Okay. Suspicion B3 is annoying though. Takes, push. Could be some sack. Okay. 
for H3. Could be very wrong, but I believe in the idea. Queen F3, that was expected. But I thought I had, but isn't that a mistake? Okay, I think I've calculated correctly here. If takes takes queen g3, bishop f6, rook f5, gf, and then bishop h4 at the end. So, okay, I'm going for probably the most complicated uh, line. But again, I, I, in those past two games, right? I, should be winning them 100% of the time. Okay. So I think he fell for another one of my tricks. I'm gonna go check now. I'm a tricky guy. Okay, now what's wrong with e4? 94. Okay. But even that, can I take? And knight d5. Yes, I'll take. And go for this. And then I have to somehow prove that I'm fine here. Start with queen g4. I'm probably going to end up sacrificing a piece for a few pawns at some point. Um, but again, uh, I feel like I can take my time, but whenever I've been taking my time, I've been choking. Um, so if I'm going to take my time, I can't choke. And that's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm getting into these scrambles where I believe I'm objectively a better player. And I should be winning them, but I'm too low on time, which is impeding that okay i'll take i think this sacrifice is just good i'm up a pawn i have this advanced h pawn is minor pieces are just bad i feel like he's gonna have to go for some sort of counter sacrifice here i want to trade the queens um now i'm gonna go knight d7 target the c5 pawn i'm gonna have some rich eight rich two ideas i think i I've definitely won this uh, encounter, C5 lost, and I'm... Okay. Knight's gonna come to E4 next. Okay, Knight G4. Get this Rook F3. I'll go Knight E4 first. Again, if I can make a trade on e4, then this bishop on e1 is trapped. Yeah, this is going to be a game. Like, uh, this is what I need to do. And everything can be simple. Okay, it takes. Taking, just giving up that pawn indirectly. So I'll take this way. And then two options. Kind of like c4, to be honest. But... I want to maintain pressure here. Oh, he allows this. I don't know why I thought I could play that. C5. Rook F6. No. This was a bit of a mistake. We'll just play this. I'll just go C5, screw it. Oh, wait, Rook in. Uh, 
Hopefully should be winning here. Bob again. It's a matter of technique. Technique I don't seem to possess today. Okay. I shouldn't be winning this 100% of the time. My win right here should be 100%. And if it's not, then it's just a bad chess player. Okay. I have to go here. I have to find a good way to sneak around. Okay, I'll make a waiting move. Wow. What should I have here? Holy shit. And I did it. I found a way to lose it. You've got to be kidding me. What is up with me today? Finding ways to lose the, like, And then somehow swindling. Just a very easy draw. My technique today is absolutely trash. It's okay though. It's only only two one. I'm not playing him, he's just defending like a beast. Extremely impressive. What's going on here? What, what line is he gonna play? This or this? It takes 
believe is incorrect, but um, I think the simplest way is to take back. Makes the most sense. She four is even tempting. To be honest, it's pretty tempting. But... Why not? I play this move in 3 0, so why not in 3 2? He's not going to go for that sack, right? Yeah, he's not going to, not even going to let him, couldn't be six just a bad move. This is a very good position. So the lights go out. For some reason, I thought he couldn't castle queen side. I don't know why. But now he's going to face some issues. My, my let's square bishop is going to be very strong pretty soon. Magic. There's a certain feeling you get when you're feeling your shit. Mm -hmm. I feel on your shit. This is your moment. I could even win a pawn directly, right? Over oh, just men, what's it? It's in. Shit, think it's in. And it is there's you, Jay Z, Tupac, and Biggie. Awesome, Timmy. I don't know. I could go direct, but um, I could go Queen H5, but then E5 is the question. And I can win upon, but it's, should I, I don't think I should be scared. Queen h5, e5, take, take, check, for there, it takes, king over, queen f5, it takes, takes, queen f5, yeah. I, I'm not going to be afraid of a ghost. Uh, maybe it's not a ghost. My bone fell off. Same idea, right? Yeah, that works, I guess, right? Yeah, queen h5, g6, queen h7, e5, take, take, bishop h3, king b8, queen f7, um, bishop b6, queen b5, if king a8, take, take, queen e6, um, bishop b6, queen d5, and if queen a6, bishop f1, and I think I shut it, everything down. I'm taking quite a materialistic approach. Okay. He goes into it, but I don't think he calculated it at all. Yeah, he's realizing now his miscalculations, I think. But um I'll check now. Obviously, there's gonna be 93, but I don't think I should be afraid of, of these types of positions. I've played the entire match going for very, uh, I just need to trust an instinct. It's been working. You know, it's king a8, I play takes, takes, queen e6, and I don't see the solution. Oh, uh, knight d3, I can just go king f1, queen b5, and king g1 there. Okay, takes and queen e6, I think is the best. Yeah. So this is where my calculation ended, and I think um, just uh, up upon, and I don't see where the evident compensation is. So I should win the game. Okay, this is also something I looked at, but I think this is. I was hoping he would be optimistic and do this. 
But again, it could be me being the one that's optimistic, thinking I'm not going to get made it here. But still, I don't see it. I think it's a huge bluff, to be honest. I think it's just a huge bluff. And I've said that about like a lot of his positions, but I think he's just bluffing. And I've been consistently right. King F1, King E2. King E2 actually might be the best. Probably shouldn't spend time nitpicking, but I think King E2 is the best move. Oh, there's Knight takes F2. Yeah, so King E2 is obviously the best. Oh, there's Knight takes F2. Shoot. Yeah, Knight takes F2 is quite the move. Can I go queen e6? Still doesn't work. This move is extremely risky. And I did it with no time on the clock. Oh my God, that was such shit decision making. That was some really bad decision making. If I survive this, I, I think I deserve to survive this, to be honest. Like, after the shit that I've thrown, I think I deserve to survive this. Like, uh, I survived this. Hope. Okay, shut the fuck up on and focus. Wait, honestly, it must be winning. There's no way it's not winning. Got him! Good technique, Hans. Good shit! Good shit, Hans! Good job, good job, good job. Okay. That karma has been restored, okay? Th this match has been a shit show, but that is karma, okay? That is, uh, that is just uh, like uh, the, the level of play in this match is, has been really bad. Like I've thrown two wins, no three, like two wins. He had a, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, the world is even. Hopefully, you know, thankfully I was able to, re to, to recover from the tilt, but hopefully he's extremely tilted from not winning that game because you know, since I'm on the Chess 24 channel, so obviously, you know, I can't break a mouse. But uh, if I was on my channel, I'd definitely be 
can um there might be a few salams. Okay, he goes GP. He's going for the you know ultra positional routes. But it's, okay, he goes clean B6, so he's I'm not surprised that he's going for this. But again, I want a close position. I I believe in myself to play well in close positions. So you give me a close position and I believe I'll do my thing. But um okay, again, I, I'm not I'm not gonna trade the queens. I want to keep as, as many pieces on the board as possible. Okay, very simple. He That was a mistake. He should have moved the rook f to c1. I assume he's going to go queen back. Yeah, we do. So he's, he's not wasting any time. Could go B6, but it's, it's a bit impulsive. Maybe it's a bit premature. I could go to H5 and then B6, but how about, well, could even rush Bishop B8. And delay castling. This is an interesting idea. That's a mistake. Jersey, Tupac, and Biggie. Nas and Timmy. Lot of envy. Lot of Femi. Another in me. Problem with me. Oh, what? Blunders. The lights go out. The light give out. Can't check them out. I'm gonna rip the shit from my bone pull out. The lights go out and the lake is out. Can't shut my mouth. Okay. I can feel his tilt. I can feel his tilt. Okay. Let's move on. Never you were. Oh my god. It's like a, my, my mouth is drooling. I can just. Taste, it's like I can taste the tilt. Uh, you know, I have, a, I have a pro tip for chess players watching. If you want to play your best chess, don't eat, okay? You will play your best chess on an empty stomach because you will crave the win, literally and figuratively. Pro tip, don't eat before a chess game. Okay, takes an A5 is... So make sure to take a little note, guys. I fast fasted before this chess game. For this chess match. I'm only on drinking water because my body, as soon as you eat... Like when you're not eating, you still your primitive instincts and adrenaline are going because you're trying to hunt. So your senses are um like inflated. So like you only want to drink water because the hydration, you know, to go to the mitochondria and to do the you know uh, the, the thing that gives you energy. Um, like that's what you want. Like you need water for, you know, uh, what, what's that shit called that gives you energy in the mitochondria? Whatever, dude, no one cares, no one cares. But anyways, don't eat if you're playing a chess here as much. Also, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, you should starve yourself, but 
you know, I, 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 I do have, you know, I do like genuine belief that eating and playing an empty stomach significantly increases play. And take that from an I am like, oh, I'm just an international master. So why would you listen to me? True. Everyone in China is like Pago who asked, but uh, the thing is, is that I can taste, I can, I, I'm, I'm tasting him right now. And he's, he tastes like, Juicy tilt. Okay, and he's just blundered. Oh, he played that. I didn't see that coming. I would say oops, but that would ruin my entire my entire little ramble. All planned, don't worry, don't worry, all planned. Okay, I actually need to shut up. Uh, I actually need to shut up. Slip does not give a fuck. Okay, this is a time to really take your time. It's not a time to make a rash decision. Okay. Yeah, I've noticed this bug where the time like goes down and then like it says it flags, but it doesn't actually flag. It's quite a weird bug. Like there's this bug on the play zone where it goes to point two, but then hops back up. It's very weird. But like it says, like there's. 
Okay, three, two, let's go. Mm. Super smoother, okay, super smooth run, right? Could have been smoother, but we got the dub, that's what matters. I want to check chat. Any doubters in the chat? Any any doubters in the chat? Any doubters? Any freaking doubters? Like, uh, uh, don't think you guys have them. Like, uh, any like, there's no doubters, right? Well, let me actually host this on my channel. Anyways, so people, any doubters? Empty stomach is best. Okay, all right. Let's go for the London again. See if he wants to repeat. Actually, 92 is correct here. Okay, he, he fell for the trick, I think. I have looked at this. I think he fell for it. Isn't this just like winning? It's a free pawn, right? I love Andrew Tang so much. Andrew, I love you so much. Uh, Andrew prepped me here. Guys, uh, Andrew is literally like, me and Andrew analyze this exact position. I honestly would not have won, that, won this match without Andrew's help because he told me the opening to play and everything, so... I will, I will, um, maybe I'll get Andrew uh, a present or something, but the, <laughs> the openings I've played in this match were with White have all been Andrew's prep and they've been, well, not okay. The opening with Black that I've been playing has been my own personal prep, but um, I definitely can't complain with all the openings going. So if Andrew, you're watching, I will be, um, You'll you'll get some sort of present or something. I don't know what it'll be, but I will I'll get I'll get you something. Because like uh, the positions I've gotten with white, like I've analyzed like both of them. So Okay, he has net h5. I probably should play h3 at some point. If he doesn't play net h5, he's definitely on tilt. I expect him to play net h5. If he doesn't play net h5, something's definitely... Oh, he disconnected. Oh, he disconnected. Oh. Wait, hello? He disconnected? Hello? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. This is... uh. Wait, what are the disconnection rules? Like, uh, oh, oh, no. Kumi, I'm such a nice guy, but, like, this is a serious match. I might have to be a jerk, but... Uh, not even being a jerk, but... Oh, boy. The thing is, is that if I disconnect in this position, it's really unfortunate for me. 
because I'm, I have a very good position. So to disconnect here would be very unfortunate because I would be inclined since this is a very serious match. Okay, he's back. Thank you. That's good. Okay, he's back. Good. I didn't want to have to do that. So thankfully we avoided that situation. But to be honest, I don't know what I would, what I would do there because it's, uh, it's, it's a lot at stake and he's a nice guy and all, but um, I, I want to win. So it's kind of have to put your friendships or opinions by the side. It's okay. I, I, I don't want to win that way, but um, I'll, I'll take a win and any way it comes. Since there's so much on the line here. Queen B3. If I'm going to trade queens, I'm going to trade queens on my terms. Um, I don't want to trade and open up the, the A file. Hopefully, you can just take. Okay. Yeah, that bishop is really annoying. That bishop is a huge pain. I'll take and go knight b1 actually. I'm going to really consolidate here and okay, does he have that? Okay, there's okay, a3. I should be to. Is it blunder? Is it actually a blunder? Let's see what's wrong with knight c3. If I get my knight to b5, I'm, I'm chilling. It takes. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Oh, wait. No, it's fine, man. Eh? What is it? Should see one. Holding on here. No, I don't like how loose my position is. I don't like how loose it is at all. It's going to go F6. It goes there. Should full send to D5. Let's do it. We got four now. Yeah, it's unfortunate that he lost some time there, but I don't think his extra time affected the result of the game, or his loss of time affected the result. No, it's not even that clear. Honestly, I'm just going to go for this. Like I'm not going to take any risks here. Like, actually, you could go for a more um, direct path, but goes <sighs> there. I don't. The bishop d two. Yeah, Bishop B3 looks like the move here. And then takes and then knight C4. And then this knight is trapped. Look at three, ends it. Takes and then takes. Take that. 4-2. Let's go. Or two, just, just get a draw on. Solid chess, you got it.
You got it. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Wait, the, you're saying the game will count? Are you okay? Oh, okay, no worries, no worries, no worries. Yeah, no, I can talk to Chad. But no, he... He lost time, but it didn't really affect the game at all. I was completely winning the entire time. So, but no, I understand. No worries. Um, um, yeah, you guys doubting after I'm down two one. But Andrew, are you in the chat? Andrew, what do you what do you want? I'll send you something on Amazon. Maybe some some chocolates or something. But um. Andrew's playing Osu. Oh, I see. I see. But Andrew, like the exact position that happened, will be analyzed. I'm at, I'm four two right now, so I just need to get a one more draw. So as long as I don't, um, I need uh, just half out of two now. Um, send him a penguin costume. I, I could do that. That wouldn't be the worst idea. Uh, let, me, let me send a tweet out. Um, anyways, send him a, a pet penguin. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, check out the tweet, retweet. Guys, also, I probably will go live after this and just analyze the games um, from Jeffrey and today. Um, anyways. Um, one, one, no, it's, it's, it's 4-2 right now. It's best of eight, so I just need to draw. Just need a draw. I just can't lose two in a row. If I get half of the two, then I'm chilling. But after this, this isn't even the hard. This is the this is the build up. I'm playing the World Blitz Champion. If I win, I'll play the World Blitz Champion in the next match. Which I got a really stacked um, group, unfortunately. Oh, he's ready. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Go for the same Slav, ultra solid. I'm not gonna take any risks. Actually, yeah, I could play my same chess, but I think there's no reason to take any unnecessary risks here. I feel very comfortable with the opening I've played and I uh, trust my play, so. We've repeated this quite a few times. A4, G6. So, you know, there's actually a position here where you can like go for an extremely drawish like set, like line of it. And I think I'm just gonna go, I've studied this a while ago. Um, back when I used to really study chess, 
this was this was a staple in my repertoire. And I don't mind repeating this variation um, I'm completely fine repeating the exact moves of the previous game. So I'm pleased with my position. So okay, he plays f five here, which is definitely incorrect. For some reason, I had a feeling he would play this move. I don't know why. I thought to myself, like a few seconds ago, I was like, oh, what if he plays this? But I'm gonna go h4. And I think he's over over overstepping here. I have a feeling he's definitely overstepping. Uh, my next moves. Actually, what do I put arrows on bishop c8 now? And then I just go e6 and I close the position. I just close the position and then what is it? What, what does he have? He has knight h5, but still, also the bishop on d2 is c1 is a very bad piece. Okay, e6. Well, my, my position is so solid. Threatening to take the pawn, but it's not that imminent of a threat. Okay, it gives me the pawn, but uh, I think he's going a bit too far. But just in the spirit of the the match score, I think it's unnecessary for me to even indulge such a position when I can play an H seven and just have be have a good position. I have to pee. I might do a bathroom gambit, to be honest. But, okay. I actually don't like how I've opened up the position even a little bit. Like even opening up this much is making me uncomfortable. Oh, the root word. So it's our sporadic act like I'm an addict. It's this map like I'm Kim Mathers. But again, I'm not going to play this position like scared or something because, yeah, okay. I'm not going to play this like I'm scared because I just have a great position. Do the lights go up? Do my leg give out? Okay, check my mouth. Bring the rook over now. I'm gonna go e5 at some point. I'm going to time it. I also did push one d7. Uh, okay, this not takes a4, but highly, highly that he plays it. Okay. Okay. So root g1. And what happens if I play e5? But there's no reason to even indulge myself. Um, there's no reason to even like have an ounce of risk in the position. You know, I don't. I should not be greedy here. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna win the game, but I don't need to do it in some sort of fancy fashion. That's you know, poses risk in my end. D4. My king looks pretty open, but I have so many pieces around my king. Like, all my pieces are so together. His coordination is pretty, pretty bad. And I'm going to go 96 and was an MF4. Like, there's the only piece holding it together. Bishop's going to come to D5, H3, Bishop D5. It's just a very dominating position here. I think the key part of this match was just the opening selection in my <clears throat> Wait. Okay. Maybe I'm 
Is, what am I missing? Nothing. Yeah, I'm not missing anything. It's a pure bluff. You know, this is kind of when you call it all in and they've got um, deuce seven. Okay. What's the simplest way? How do I, how do I shut this down as quickly as possible? Trading queens seems like a good first step. With the queens off, I'm feeling very comfortable. Even though I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be uh, abiding to such uh, basic um, rules. I feel quite comfortable with the queens off the board because I know I know me, and I know that throughout this match, the positions I've messed up uh, have been uh, far from. Yeah. Anyways, don't think I can lose this position. I think I'm gonna have to try really hard to lose this position. Like it's gonna take some some serious effort on my end. It's gonna take some serious effort. It's the match. Good match. Obviously, huge respect to um, Mr. Malkumian. He played a great match. Really made me fight for it. Always a pleasure playing him. But uh, we got it. So um, I guess I'll be on to the next one. I'm playing the world champion. Um, the world blitz champion next match. So obviously, it's going to be super tough. But I'm very happy with my play. Um, so, uh, you know, it is huge respect to him. I think I'm going to go live after this. We'll do some analysis. Um, thank you to everyone. Sorry, my music's on. Sorry. Um, what time would that be? That'd be nine Central European would be what time Eastern? Six hours or seven hours less or? Okay, yeah, that, that, um, that works. Yeah, that works. And it's, and again, it's long. Okay, um, anyways. That's six hours before, so that's a three. Okay, perfect. Anyways, yo, guys, thanks for supporting. Yo, what's up, Selena, aka Change Them, Nikki, yo, Cosmac. I see all my, all the, I see the whole community here supporting. Um, obviously, it was a rocky match from the beginning. Should have won a lot of games. You know, we, we clutched up a game I should have lost, but at the end of the day, you know, the entire point of this tournament is for me to prove that uh, I'm one of the best at Blitz, um, you know, despite my, my classical, you know, being just an IM and not playing like classical, I, you know, I have a lot to prove in Blitz and I think that this is the perfect tournament for me to, to prove it. Um, so I feel like I've, uh, you know, proved myself quite well here. I believe the match will be 3 p.m. Eastern then. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you guys for supporting. I'm going to go live right after this and we'll do some analysis. Sorry, is there, a, is there a way for me to analyze all the games after? Like, if I go to the links, will, the, will I be able to analyze? Or... Also, if I just, if I just copy a random link, it'll, I'll be able to analyze the games. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Thank you so much for hosting the tournament. Sorry? Yeah, I'm going to go offline now. Um, 
appreciate it. Thank you guys. Peace. Appreciate the support.